What's up, y'all? It's Jessica, and I'm back today with another DIY. We are turning this t-shirt into this romper with no sewing machine required. Stay tuned to see how I did it. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give me a like on this video. Also comment down below which kind of videos you like to see. Just showing you guys what you're gonna need. That was some fabric glue, some push pins, some scissors, of course. And also I have a jumpsuit that I'm using to kind of draw out my pattern on my t-shirt. So pretty much I like the way this jumpsuit fits. You wanna make sure whatever garments you're using to trace is something that you like the fit of. And you're gonna trace it out leaving a seam allowance. That's why I'm leaving that like one inch space between what I'm tracing and the jumpsuit. The jumpsuit is really tight and stretchy and my cotton shirt that I'm using is not so stretchy. So you wanna give yourself this extra seam allowance space just so when you finish the garment, it, will, it won't be too tight, okay? So I'm I'm just sketching all the way down to the bottom. While tracing your jumpsuit or your, you can even trace like shorts and a tank top, but while you're tracing it, make sure you also leave a seam allowance in the crotch area. Um, I had my jumpsuit, I felt like it wasn't that flat in the crotch area. So in a minute, you will see me kind of lift it up a little bit more and adjust my seam allowance. But the more seam allowance you give yourself, the better, because you can always go back and cut more fabric off, but you can never add it back on once you cut it off. So yeah. Next thing I'm doing is going in with my push pins and I'm sticking them right in that line that I just created. This is gonna give me some guidance when I am cutting out my shape. Speaking of cutting, y'all, the scissors that I had, I don't know what happened, like literally these scissors aren't even three months old, but they were terrible for this shirt. So make sure you get fabric scissors, heavy duty scissors, I don't know, do whatever you gotta do to get scissors that work, okay? But yeah, I'm finishing lining up my pins. The pins really help me to keep the shape that I'm cutting and not get lost, you know what I'm saying? And not worry about my t-shirt moving around and everything. I am making sure to stick these pins through both layers of the shirt other than the fact that my scissors were giving me a hard time this is a really easy project like for me I chose this baby blue color because every time I go shopping for like a jumpsuit or something it's always sold out in my size in this color so I was like I'm gonna just make one for myself okay so now that I have cut out that side what I'm gonna do is fold it over so that both sides can be symmetrical i'm gonna fold it over and then cut out right along that shape as well i did take out the pins and repin it to where it was going through all four layers of the shirt so it was easy for me to cut um and then i also made sure to cut out that crotch area too this is all done after i have cut it up now this next step is me adding the fabric glue to the seams okay so what i'm doing is i'm adding the fabric glue but i'm going like a half inch away from the very edge of the um, romper now after i add this fabric glue i am gonna go in with a needle and thread you guys will see in the next few clips but i didn't want to trust it with just the fabric glue you can if you want to like if you're using a fabric glue that you know is bomb you can trust it and just be done after this step but what i'm doing is adding the glue slowly and then pressing it down and working my way around the shirt make sure you do not glue the bottom clothes because your legs need to go there and also don't be like me <laughs> and glue the arm shut luckily i realized what i had done before it totally dried so i was able to unstick them but also, I use this glue line because I'm going in with needle and thread after I use this glue line as a guide for sewing because you know when you have a sewing machine, they have their own guide that helps. So I just didn't want to get lost with my needle and thread. So I was really glad that I still did this fabric glue step because it gave me a guideline to follow. And I like to um, the reason that I went like half an inch 
inside is because you don't want this part to show. You want to create a nice even seam and get rid of any jagged edges. So going like inside, I think really helps. So another thing I was paying close attention to was making sure that both sides of the fabric were evenly lined up before I glued it down. Um, I felt like if I had glued it down and it was not properly lined up, then that would have created a problem. So yeah, be careful with that. With most fabric glues, there is a like drying time. I let mine sit and dry for about mm, eight to nine hours. I just kind of let it do its thing before I came back with the needle and thread. So like I said, guys, after your fabric glue is dry, if you 100% trust it, you can go ahead and wear your romper and be done. Um, after I let it dry, I did go back in with the thread. I hemmed the armholes because I didn't want them to be jagged or raw. And I hemmed it with a thread color that is the same color as my jumpsuit. You guys will see here in a minute. And then for the rest of the jumpsuit, I really wasn't worried about the um, thread showing through because I knew that it wouldn't the way that I was going to sew it in a needle, of course. And I'm just showing you how I did the hem of the arms so you take it you fold over a little piece i used the glue that i had um on there as a guide for folding over the arm fabric so yeah and i'm just showing you how i'm using those other glue lines as guide so this is what it looked like after i hem the arm holes um yeah pretty self-explanatory you just go in and out in and out with your needle and thread make sure you tie it off in a knot when you're done so it doesn't come unraveled this is what it looks like when i went down the sides of the jumpsuit i went through the middle with that other thread and you see how that have threads hanging off you can just cut that right off and be done um yeah and then i went down the other side and i was all done if you want you can go a step further and cut out the neck to create more of a tank top but i liked it just like this thank you guys so much for watching leave me a like comment on this video what kind of diys you want to see also subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one i just want to say from the bottom of my heart i'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody the double check does what the f they want